Let's jump to the wall here, and today we're doing another Saving Your Disaster campaign. So, uh, this is playing as Kiev, the Kievan Rus, in Stainless Steel 6.4 early campaign. Also, want to thank the person who sent it to me for actually providing the submod details. Saves me a lot of time. Okay, so. The situation doesn't look good. It's one of those ones where we start off with very little. Now, is this organic? It looks like it. Because you can see it wasn't just like straight down right from the start with 74 turns in. He was doing reasonably well and then hit a downhill turn. So, you know, we've had a few that are, well, we, ha we know one has been a deliberate fuck up. But um, people are suspecting that a lot of them are, you know, deliberate fuck ups. This doesn't look like it. Now, we've got to try and get ourselves out of this. Now, we can see Poland's besieging our last settlement here, and it's only a wooden castle, so that's not good. Now, down in the south here, this is Byzantine territory. Byzantines are not at war with us, so we have the Cumans, the Turks. I guess we don't have to worry about the Turks, we don't border them. Uh, Poland, definitely have to worry about them. Republic of Novgorod, seem a bit far away, but we don't have to worry about them. Kingdom of Hungary... Uh, yeah, that's... You know, I don't know, they're somewhat. Uh, Republic of Ven... Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, and then there's Lithuania also. Yeah, they're up that way. Okay, so main priority I think should be fighting Poland. So then we're going to decide where we should attack first. Because we've only got one settlement. We need to get more settlements. Um, how's our finances? Finances are meh. Don't expect much on one settlement. So this over here, we've got a Polish large town. It's well defended. Not worth going for. We've got this Pol... <laughs> it's called Fuck You Poland. So it's taken it purpose personally. Not that well defended. But also not a huge priority. Over here we've got a Lithuanian town. Fairly well defended. Over here we've got a Polish fortress. Not too well defended at Helich. Might be a good priority to go for these territory, this territory here. Not only because it will give us access to good troops. But deny Poland access to those good troops. Now we've got to lift this siege here. Uh, let's see. Should I hire mercenaries? Probably. What, what units can we recruit from here? Because I'm assuming I'm going to lift the siege. It doesn't seem like this is going to be a problem. Um, not much. Okay. The mercenaries... A little bit on the pricey side. But we need to move fast. Oh, we got three generals. Let's not worry about it right now. Alright, let's just lift this. What are we up against? Alright, alright, alright. No problem. I can handle this. Let's get into it. Now they are doomed! We need, to, I mean, yeah, we need to make a beeline for Halich. Absolutely. So yeah, Stainless Steel 6.4, one of the only mods that I'll actually accept disaster campaigns for. Just because the, the pacing is is good, I think. It's not it's not too slow paced of a campaign. I just don't want to be bogged down for 50 episodes. I'm trying to fix the DEI campaign, you know. Alright. We got the high ground here. They've got artillery. I'm gonna send the skirmishes. Let's see here. That looks like the king. All right, I'm gonna send these guys to go and harass the enemy general. Speed militia. Uh, okay, you guys start making your way down. I mean, I don't mind them shooting at anything, but I'd prefer them shoot at the general's bodyguard. Oh, damn. Shoot those general bodyguard. How are we going? Alright, so uh, should do okay charging them head on, especially if we got the, the high ground and their and they're moving. So this is on very hard, I think. That's what that's what he said anyway. Uh, okay, that, that's enough idea. I don't want to mark the battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Alright, get back up here, because he's charging up the hill. 
And we've missed our chance to get away. The enemy general nice. lies dead. We have sent the core to hell. I probably should have hit him on, uh, what's it called? Skirmish mode. It doesn't matter, it's only the hunters. Ooh, shit. You gotta get in there and get rid of them. Only half the enemy force remains. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Come on, Harp, and finish the job. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. This is a clear victory. All right, might be a good idea to see how strong we are compared to Poland. All right, where are they? There, Poland. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, should I really? Well, oh, they're cheap. That being said, I gotta get moving now. Your will shall be obeyed. Make most of my way over to here. Yes. Just thinking what we could use. Crossbows are probably useful. Slav mercenaries, what's cheap? Just go with that. Well, I still got a little bit more money left over for some of them. Why not? Hang on, were these guys here at maximum limit? Yeah. I'll just put them in the queue, that way they can start replenishing. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's kick Poland's ass. If they're asking for peace, I'll accept it. Nope. Well, that would have been nice to know if they were there. Luckily, they didn't besiege the settlement. That's a big army. Uh, by relative standards to our army. Because all they have to do to finish this off is take bio. That's it. And then someone else still on the... Whatever. Okay, so... Okay, there's, very, there's nothing in there at the moment. That's... Good for us. Taking that fortress will be good. Shall be obeyed. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of crap in here. Now, I'm a big fan of placing forts on borders I dare them to try and, take and leaving fort. trash units behind will make them fear you. My lord. that are cheap upkeep to just basically maintain it. So, leave behind the Tartar foot lances. Uh, which one was it? That one there, that's flat cap. Yes. Okay. My lord. Men, march! Joining forces. My lord. Forming one force. Order also, that'll make it Joining difficult forces. for him to get 
to, to catch up to me. It, assuming, we will make oh, we'll see. We march. Ah, lovely. That's what I was looking for. Alright, now we need to make sure we send just enough men to make sure that this that they're actually willing to, to engage us. So I'll send these cavalry, just to begin with, over here. Just to get an idea of what we're up against. This is a scouting force. Alright, we've got Piast Nobles to deal with. Infantry, melee infantry is not a problem. And a general. Okay. These guys here, their job is to take out the general. We don't have to kill this unit here if we kill all of them. We're going to need all three generals. Alright, should we take a mobile force? What are these here? Dismounted Piast Nobles, Lightman at Arms, Eastern Spearmen. Alright, I don't think I'm going to need the melee infantry, I'm going to take the crossbows, and the hunters. So the odds aren't very good in our favour, but we kind of want that, because we do not want them to withdraw. So, top priority needs to be eliminating the noble, uh, the, the general's bodyguard that's coming from the, uh, from the north east. Be coming from over here. That'll be their job. And your job is going to be to just wait for the time being. Protect them. And if they start coming towards us, you need to shoot the enemy cavalry. If we get rid of the cavalry, the rest of this will be easy. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Alright, now they're coming towards us. That's fine. And happily, happily sacrifice these guys. If we can pull this off. Because time is of the essence. We need to take this settlement and then move on to the next one. After that. Seems like they want to aim for him. They're moving really slowly. Taking out the dismounted PS nobles is good as well. Okay, now aim for the actual PS nobles. Well, if he just wants to shoot, be shot in the back, that's that works for me. We don't really seem to be shooting though. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on, can we get one more shot in? Oh, nice job, nice job. Okay, come over here. Like I said, I don't mind so much if they get killed. Just thin them out. Alright, let's go. Okay, I saw, saw that the enemy general here is on the move as well. Uh, due to the unresponsiveness, they may not get away. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Get out of that. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. By the grace of God, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. 
All right, so far so good. Only half the enemy force remains. All right, you two could probably stop shooting now. Oh, actually, no, no, keep shooting. Oh, man, you guys did a nice job on him. Make sure you finish the job. I don't have time to micromanage. I gotta micromanage this. So good. Come on, kill him. The battle is very much in our favor. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the core to hell. Good mission accomplished there. And just need to finish that off. And then we're done. Look how our cowardly foe runs. Time to press the attack. All right, good. I'd say we got the him. The enemy are utterly vanquished. A crushing victory! They must fear us now. Yeah, we're gonna have to sack it. We march to our enemies too. Don't know if we did any damage to the town. Yes. Well, the public order wasn't very good, so we just didn't have that luxury not to, to do that. Alright, so we're making an extra thousand from here. That's good. Alright, I'm going to send... Let's see here. We're going to need some time to consolidate this group whatever we can for the mean in the meantime a spy could be useful just to get some intel ahead we got hungry down here the Carpathian basis basin this fortress looks looks tasty my lord all right I'm gonna take you let's see I'm gonna take An order. which of these yeah okay I'm gonna take you down here, and I want you to bank another fort here to block off we march this way and put Orders, my him in there. Sire. Order, my the rest of you come out over to let's see. I will make them fear you. Orders, my king. Joining forces. Yes. Let's see if we can take these guys with us. Move out, my lord. Okay. So we're just leaving the just the smallest number of troops here. Just the this general who'll look after it. Might be too long until we've got some troops coming in here. Yeah, let's get the small orthodox chapel going, because I'll need to hire a priest to get public order what do you want? up to scratch. Better get the troops. Considering there's an army coming, we, we should uh, make sure there's at least something of a garrison here. I was wondering if I should get Pechenegs instead. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's go for this. I will make them fear you. Yes. Resting the now, if we're not interrupted, we might order. get these mercenaries on the way. Your will shall be obeyed.
Okay, looks like we've made a pretty good start. But we're not out of the woods yet, not by a long shot. I hope it doesn't crash. I have... If I've got the settings right, I've found that stainless steel has been pretty stable for me lately. Ever since I got my new computer. I got the settings all just right. I don't actually have it on max settings, because I... You know, it just doesn't really... As much as my graphics card can handle it, I just don't want the performance drop. Just due to it, you know, being an old engine now. Uh, the Byzantine's sort of beating us there. That's fine, we'll, we'll find a Polish settlement instead. Assuming, assuming of course, the, the Byzantines win. I don't really care if the Byzantines win that. The Byz We're not at war with the Byzantines, let, let them fight that. Alright, I don't know why they're not doing anything. An order. So you get over here, get this fort down. We shall make this place hell to take, my and also put a watchtower here. Fear you. We shall spot the enemy before they spot us. Battle will resolve our differences. This is also on Savage AI, not Grackle AI. I'm surprised they didn't didn't come after us. That's what I would have done in their position. I somewhat don't think that the Byzantines are going to win that, but that doesn't matter. As long as they're keeping him busy, that's fine. Alright. Polish city, Hrodna. Too many, too many troops there. Okay, Plok doesn't seem well defended. But I've also got this guy coming in over this way. We're not yet ready to face that. It's too strong. How much money are we making per turn? About 1,000 profits. Alright, I guess we'll make our way over here. Uh, there's a spy here as well. Be good to know if there's any enemies along the way that we need to be aware of. Your will shall be obeyed. Uh, I'm still just going to go f go for it. We don't have full intel, but I'll just have to make do. Yes. Make camp here. I'll hire them. We shall not relent ever. And you might be of some help to us up this way, so I'll have you try and catch Move up. Out. He's got this under control for the time being. Actually, why don't you take some reinforcements? I mean, it's it's not much, but. It's better than nothing. And we got some more troops coming in here, and there's only one there. Even if they do besiege, until the general can sally out and defeat it. This here, this here is just a delay. Your people's ways are blasphemous at best. Do not address me. Right, I let's move on. Nothing else to do. Yeah, they failed at Casa. Well, it doesn't matter. Plock is not well defended. Well, hang on. Did it just increase its... Uh, we'll see when we get there. What do they want? What, what peace? It might be better for us to just get peace. He's got a lot of enemies. Noble foe. Let us see if we can reach an agreement, yes? No. It is no matter, my lord. Let's continue. Considering the Hungarians seem to be getting punished severely by the. Uh, what is the crusade on? Uh, getting punished. What's this? Where are they going? The Holy Bible may pre. Vilnius. Good. At least that two enemies fighting against each other buys us some time. Oh, there's two units in that. 
I reckon they're two damaged units, if I had to guess. Yeah, they uh, they brought more troops over. I will make them fear you. Hmm. Well, we're going to need a city for money's sake. But up this way is well defended. What else is down here? So that's owned by Byzantines. Okay. An order. <sighs> Just trying to decide whether or not we should continue with the siege plans on that, or turn around to take Casa. Since the Byzantines failed, they might very well try and siege it again. That's where that guy is. I would very much like to know what they've got into this. Yeah, it's just nothing. It, it isn't even worth my time to fight. Yeah, okay. Why don't we send the spy to go and have a look at what's there firstly? Because if it's all just like artillery. It's not so tough. My biggest concern is that we'll take the settlement and then come under s stress from other things. If we can get over to the Baltic, that would be good as well. What's the chances you can yes. infiltrate this? 20%? Yeah, because you suck. All right, we'll continue with the plans. Um, okay, he'll come and assist as well. I will make them fear you. Leave your mercy behind, men. We shall show them none. Your will shall be obeyed. Forming a huge. So, hoping that that army from Krakow doesn't come in. I could have built a fort there, but. I'll have to live dangerously. <laughs> okay, everything seems good. All good. Okay, what are we going to build here now? Upgrading the roads is not going to really provide us with any money. It's, it's just purely more about getting around a bit faster. I'd love some better cavalry. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Well, with everyone dogpiling Lithuania, it could actually be a good opportunity for us to snag some Lithuanian territory. Okay, uh, this might actually be a better option. We we've seen where they've they've brought they've brought troops over here. We could do a force draw out. It'd actually be easier. That assaulting and quicker. Good. We don't want the crusade to be over, this is a good thing. And if Poland wants to reinforce its crusade, great. Yeah, don't bother me with it. We shall not relent, ever. Okay, so we know that there's someone there. I'm gonna take you Your out. Will shall be obeyed. Get marching. To here. Battle will resolve our difference. If we attack him, he should withdraw to about here. We march to our enemy's doom. I look for battle will resolve our differences. We already know what's there. An order. Alright. Lift the siege, they can't withdraw from this. Get marching. 
So, main priority, of course, gotta kill him. We've got to finish that one off first. I'll send the cavalry to go deal with that. The general's bodyguard, that shouldn't be a problem for them. Alright, let's do this. I'll lose far fewer men on a field battle than I will on an assault on that city. If there was only like one unit in the city, I wouldn't bother, but they got a fair, fair few spearmen, and my army here is, you know, ragtag bunch of crap. Okay, so... Enemy reinforcements will come from the south here. I don't want to deal with them until until we've dealt with the other force. Balls to the wall. Fucking get rid of this guy. Up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in skill. I'll send them to go harass shortly, but we got to deal with this first. Are they going into skill trim? Or are they just messing around? Can I kill the enemy general? The enemy general lies dead. We have the our men. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Alright, nice. Next up. Alright, I'd prefer it if they weren't in the woods. But, next up, these guys. Their job is to try and thin out the enemy general. I don't think they've got enough ammunition to kill him. Plus the artillery could turn around and start shooting at us. I'm not too attached to these guys, so if they end up getting killed, not that big of a deal. Alright, get over here. Shoot him from the flank there. They're not paying any attention to us, which is good. Don't mind us, we just want to shoot a couple of arrows up your bunghole. Ugh, I tell you what, playing this. I just wish that long ass campaigns did better on YouTube because I got that itch to crank up another stainless steel 6.4 campaign and just like another 100 episode long campaign. And I'm sure there'll be one or two people be like, did you do it? It'd be awesome. And be like, it's my livelihood. I can't do it. I can only release so many videos a day. Okay. We should um, probably spread out a little bit, so that it, if, if they do hit, it doesn't do quite as much damage. They've done a significant amount of damage to the general's bodyguard, it's, it's good. Are they going to shoot us with mangonels? Yeah, good luck with that. Well, alright. Mankinels are supposedly really, really inaccurate and they've got a head on, dead on hit there. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, we're, we're doing. This is worth it. It's worth it to damage this guy. Because he's. We have to kill him. Alright. 
Alright. You come around the side here. Get rid of those mangonels. It's pretty bloody. I reckon he'll be dead soon. Alright, we've got this. You guys have done your job, you can go away now. Alright, I think this is going to be a great success. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright. You come in, hit them in from the rear, you just, you know, focus on running them down, make sure they don't get away. to press the attack. Alright, uh, we're done here. And that means the settlement is ours. Without having to assault, so we lost very few men, so that worked out very nicely. Lurking in the trees. Oh, that was the king. Nice. We shall not relent ever. You should fear us coming, my enemy. A crushing victory. They must fear us now. They are broken. We Sire. It's tempting to come up to Palanga up here, but at the same time, there's quite a few forces out this way. Let's have a look at how things are looking at the moment. So there's an upturn in, in our f fortunes, uh, although Poland has, despite losing two pretty important settlements, they've uh, apparently only gotten stronger. Finances are certainly getting better. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. All right, if we just left those junior militia here, will that maintain public order? Because I can also lower the. I've already done that. Let's see. We shall not relent ever. in the Fifty percent. Not good. Probably need a general's bodyguard to stay behind. Even that's not enough. An order. Orders, my king. Ma'am, march. I will make them fear you. My lord, move out. Okay, at 70%, at least it won't revolt at 70, but still, I'll, I'll leave one more unit behind. Yes. Forward. Uh, I thought that'd be An enough. Order. Okay. It's under control. Your will shall be obeyed. Looks like I might have to stay here for just a short time. But I want to kill these before they uh, get a chance to meet up with the rest of their forces. Actually, before we... Yeah, no, just do that. If the enemy show you mercy in battle, do not...
Alright. Let's be aggressive. Sort this out. So these guys here will harass them. And you aim for the general, whichever wherever the wherever the captain is. Aim for him. I think he's there. Solid charge. Don't miss him. That was not a very good charge. I don't think these guys are going to do much. I'm going to try to get rid of the artillery. Now he, he's running faster than us. Our men are Can winning the battle. Out of, out of here. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good solid recharge incoming. And they're already broken. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, come on, you slow pokes. If they're just going to send small forces at us, we need to not be lazy and just take out whatever we can. Weaken them in every every way we can, considering we're outpowered. You know, overall. Don't give them the chance to consolidate these forces into one big stack that we won't be able to deal with and we'll only be able to avoid. There's no need for Ransom to kill them. Ransom just means we have to fight them again. Our biggest problem in this is... Manpower. We need we need to get troops. We shall not relent ever. Okay, I'm gonna build a fort here. Move out. I dare them to try and take this fort. And I'm gonna stand right here. My lord. If they want to attack us, they have to cross this river here. I don't really have the, the best troops to defend the river, though. Battle will resolve our differences. An order. There's no more mercenaries, either. Bit of a risk, because that's a fairly large force, but if they do make the attack, at least they will have to cross the river to get to us. I'd certainly like to send some reinforcements up that way. Ah, what we'll do here. Prevent him from... Deciding to actually make the attack. Order so the cheapest unit we've got over here. Man of Fort. Get back there. Now, at the very least, it'll buy us more time if he actually does decide that he wants to take this settlement. Alright, looking good. Looking pretty good. Alright, moving on. So, I'm rooting for Lithuania on this. Even though we're at war with them and not at war with Denmark, I am rooting for Lithuania. Strategically, it's in our best interest that this crusade keeps going. Uh, nice. 
us. That army is at least three times our size. And they've got catapults. I don't think I can win this, but I am going to stand and fight anyway. Show no mercy to our people's enemies! Act. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. We've got one advantage that they don't. Which is a good general. They want to stand too close over here at the start here, we'll just bomb us. But we really need them to hold the line. Oh, that's going to bomb us anyway. Fuck no. If we can manage to kill the enemy general... Enemy captain, that would be ideal. Not quite in position. Yeah, they're not going to send the general at us right away. Mighty Lord, or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. There they are, the PS nobles. That's what we need to be aiming for. Shit. It is... Yeah, this is pretty much the result I would have expected. I may have to withdraw. It's just too much. Right, well, we can't really get the infantry out of there. But I can get the cavalry out. I'm not out, I'm not quitting the fight just yet. No, uh, you, should, you should withdraw. Oh, I can't withdraw? Oh, we can't withdraw. That's weird. Okay, then what we do in this instance... Now that the enemy general is at least across over here, we try and thin him out. He, he lost a few men. As if we, I'm assuming that's the enemy general. Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, that's him there. If we kill him, his infantry won't count for shit. There's no point putting them in skirmish mode. They won't be able to outrun them. Only intervention by the almighty lord or a military genius can bring us victory okay. from this Okay, I need demand. you to kill these PS nobles. Keep him out of it for as long as possible. Right. Oh, we got him? Our man, the enemy general, flees like the coward he is. Strike hard and break the spirit of his army. Okay, now, what other cavalry do they have? They've still got some PS nobles. We need to take them out first before we worry about the, uh... Before we worry about anything else. Yeah, you just go hide over there or something.
Good to see their artillery is still on the other side. Good, they're getting wrecked. I think we still got a good chance of winning this battle. Our crossbowmen are still here. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about micromanaging them. They're not important to this fight. Oh yeah. Wasn't paying attention to them. Can't pay attention to everything. I have to look after this. This is crucial here. Nothing else matters. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. Right, he's out. All right, next thing, use these guys. Just use up the last of their ammo and thin them out a little bit. If we can drop their morale even just a little bit, it'll make a big difference. Now, since most of our units routed, if we win here, we can get a lot of them back. So I'd withdraw these units just so I didn't, didn't have to micromanage them anymore, but I can't. Here's my my trump card, using the general. Just wait till the last moment. Alright, if you charge in at him, he's already shaken. Here's our chance. Only half the enemy force remains. Balance of powers moving. Closer to our favor. Why don't you run them down? The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Well, there you go. We did end up winning. At a cost. You know. But that being said, this army was three times our size. I'm going to take an army three times our size and take zero casualties. Hopefully we don't get hit by artillery when we're trying to cross. They couldn't make up their decision, uh, their mind whether or not to leave. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. By the Lord, our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all so I'd say that was definitely worth fighting. Wow. Kudos to the uh, the cavalry, uh, the horse archers. We wouldn't have won that without them. I mean, unless my general we fought that those cavalry and dealt with them. Siege. Good to see the Byzantines are pressing the attack of the Hungarians. That way we're not dealing with them. Sure, why not? I look forward to fighting you. My lord. Yes, Lord! Confronting the enemy! Yeah, this will be enough. To arms, man! We might even get a new general from this. Maybe I should have dealt with them when they were there before. Doesn't matter, I'll get rid of them now. 
Alright, so I don't think there'll be any need for a second episode on this. It was on the brink of death, and now... Oh, it's a move across. It doesn't matter. Um, he was on the brink of death, and now he's not. I've probably more than doubled his forces and tripled his his uh, settlements. I'd like to get one more before, before I hand it back. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Alright, these guys can sure block a lot of missiles. All civilized peoples will be awed by the victory. It's unlikely we will get another general. I think we've got like four or five now. The enemy lies defeated. We are victors. Holders, my king. All right. Okay, Thorn doesn't look that well defended. I want to send you with majority of these troops to go and give back up in the uh, in the west. No one seems to be coming this way. Yeah, that's too well defended at this stage. Yeah. And I mean, most of this here is garbage. Move out. We move and you'll pick up some troops from here out. as well. Yes. Okay. Thorn is not that well defended. But we're just a little bit out of troops over here. Don't have much left. Senior mounted militia. Alright, I'll take that. Sire. Very good lord. Battle will resolve our differences. Just thinking which way to go about this. I don't want to cross in this way because that'll bring us in a border with Lithuania. It might be better as well if we put another fort here just to deter Lithuania from attacking. Four men. Yeah. Fort time. Combining troops. Yeah, you should still stay there just because if I move out here, it just won't give us as much of an advantage as staying there. And he's becoming a better general with every passing day. We shall not relent, ever! Your people's ways are blasphemous. At Reinforcements are on the way. A lot of mercenaries there, but they're on the pricey side. Let's just, uh... Do not address we're getting more troops in. I answer to a Hungarians, we don't have to worry about them too much. Yes. And that's pretty much all I can do this turn. Let's move on.
wonder if we've got any merchants. I bring we'll word to from check. England. No so we're considered sound. despicable. Well, whatever it is. This seems quite easy. Good day to you. Keep telling us every turn, is it? Okay. Another general. Oh, fine, whatever. I'll um. An honor hmm. to serve, my lord. If it is the fight you wish. I'm gonna build another fort go, here. Sir. With honor. Building a fort to defend from honorable. Because we could always hire the mercenaries here at the last moment if we absolutely have to. That'll buy us some time. Orders, my lord. Battle will resolve our differences. All right, just come stand here. Oh, he'll either. If it is the fight right, you we'll wish. see what he'll do. Come closer. Orders, my king. Yes, my lord. Your people's ways are blasphemous at best. So yeah, do we have any merchants? No. Okay, good. I, I don't care for merchants. Yes. My lord. Yes. Okay, we can have ten units in this army. Me. No, that's I perfect for them. Full stack. Crappy full stack, but a full stack nonetheless. Uh, there's a lot of forces out here. The public order here is improving. We've just finished with the Orthodox Church. So that's improving. City Watch here will give us access to better troops. But this will give us access to public order. Yeah, we're going to need better troops. End the hostilities. I consider it a waste of time to even bother with merchants. If I put it anywhere, this is going to get taken over. I still get people being like, I think merchants are really good. Merchants are really good, but only once you're in a really safe location where other merchants aren't going to get you. Yes, Lord. And by which point, you don't need merchants. Unless you want to save scum, control, control save, try to get rid of it, fails, control L. They rinse and repeat. Unless you want to do that, merchants are a bit of a risk. 550 gold. I don't know. You, you, I, I usually don't get my investment returned. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yes. Of course. Joining forces. My lord. Men, march. Put as many, as many troops in here as we can. Actually, what I might do is just step into here for a moment. See what mercenaries are available and bring them back with us. Just so we've got a few extra troops. Yes, bringing our armies together. Your will shall be obeyed. Nothing here. Okay. Get marching. Yes. This army is large enough that it could take this on, but most of the army is peasants. <laughs> it's still going sideways. I wonder why that is. So looking at things, militarily... Why, how are we going downhill? I've doubled our military size. I guess it's all relative because it's squashed up the graph.
Damn it, all of these settlements are really well defended. Unless we go for, for for here, go for the north instead of the south, that's an option. I'll need another fort there though, that'll buy us more time. I might actually do that because I don't think I'm going to get to Thorn. Alright, I'm going to leave, uh, let's see, I'm going to leave this woodman behind. Yes. Recruiting anything this time? No. Okay. Well, we'll see how we go. Moving on. Gaining control of some of the Baltic. You know, just a port there could help us out. We got a trade agreement with England. Although I don't think the trade will travel that far. Okay, sell the out and get rid of the. Why do they go all the way around to hit that guy? Damn. I don't want this crusade to be over. Come on, Lithuania. Send all of your forces over there to stop this. Good. Through the walls, our enemy has laid siege. Good there, at least they lifted the siege. Like, we don't like the Lithuanians, we're at war with them, but I'm still rooting for them to hold that settlement. back off, they just move somewhere else. Not with France. So this guy here, let's let's see what he's got. It's pretty crap, we can certainly deal with that. Got some new exotics to trade with us. It's uh, there's no cavalry there either. If I bring these guys in to help I might do a fair bit. We shall not relent ever Uh, where did I put that spy? Oh, he's over here. Sire, moving into position. Man, I'd really like to hit this. Could hit Thorn as well. Your will shall be obeyed. Yes, moving quietly until morning, Lord. An order. Because if I kill that, I'm just. Hmm. I will see you brought to justice in an honest battle. We still don't have a large you force here. All right, take the cavalry from here. It's only 170 upkeep. Okay. Yes. Of we'll lift this. It says that we don't stand much of a chance. Enemy. One, two, three. No, I call bullshit on that. We'll crush him. If the enemy show you mercy in battle, do not... Unless our general trips over a twig and breaks his neck at the beginning of the battle, this really shouldn't be a problem. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. This bloody thing is in the way.
Alright, you stay there, and I'll send the cavalry around the side. We gotta get rid of their missile units first. These guys here, let's have them set up this way and wait until they've done their job. Oh. I might even get them into melee to get rid of those, those catapults. Someone gotta do it. Because that could end my key. That would be very bad. Good, broke him. Very few of them escape. Good, our dread's really coming in handy now. Doesn't take that into consideration. And the bounce of power thing. They'll hold their line. Anyway, the bounce power is now even. We're about to crash into their rear. Should be fine. Oh, I must have... What is he doing there? I must have accidentally selected him to come this way. Get rid of these missile units here. Just, just ignore these other guys in the meantime. I don't need any more shots. Moment, we got this now. Let's shoot, shoot them. Let us pray it remains as such. Only half the enemy force remains. Mighty Lord above, we have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Looks to me like we're gonna crush him. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Got him. All right, how do we go? Ninety-six percent. Good. That means they're dead. By the Lord. Our A few men dead, but. I think it was worth it. Still, we can't just keep defending. At some point, we're going to have to attack. 
definitely want his dread to keep going up. That's working in our favor. So this settlement here, still got a lot of men there. Maybe if I knew exactly what was there. I don't know. Yes. An honor to serve, my lord. Must be a rebel on that. Okay, we got some new troops coming in. Now, due to the fact that I keep recruiting and not not really conquering anything, our finances will be impacted by this. We are not making very much cash now, but we need troops. But yeah, I can't keep, I just can't keep recruiting. Orders, my lord. Yeah, we'll get that. Okay. Yes. Yes, Alright, let's reorganize this force here. Yes. I don't think I've got any melee caves or just these pechen eggs, which you missile cave. Yes. Splitting. Yes. Orders, my king. Yes. Order, my lord. Joining forces. Yes, lord. Yes, lord. Confronting the enemy. The enemy lies defeated. An order. Alright, I'm going to send him Orders over here to besiege this, and you're going to go to Thorn. I will make them fear you. You don't have any more reinforcements, but this is, this is all you got. Alright, go hide in the forest here. We march. The Hopefully he doesn't see us. If, if he does, we might be able to beat him, I don't know. Otherwise we just withdraw back to here. Moving on. Once again, the Byzantines fail to take Casa. Ugh, the Vilnius is not going to hold at this rate. This is good because that's the garrison from Thorn. They found us. Why do I say it's good? Gives us a chance to defeat them instead of having to fight a, you know, assault a fortress. Now they got those PS nobles, and we've seen that our horse archers rip them to shreds. So we need to rely on that. I didn't even look at what the other units were though. Maybe I should have. You go, go ahead. You just hang back for the time being. I don't think they've got any missile units. Nope. That gives us an advantage. They can't, they can't catch these guys. All right. Yeah. Thin out the PS nobles before we get into combat. Ripping them to shreds. They're getting a bit sick of this. Oh, these are actually Polish knights. How much armor do they have? Uh, eight as opposed to six. Yeah, they can take a shot a lot better than those PS nobles. Do they have two hit points or something? No. I don't know. Because we didn't kill a single one of them there.
Ugh. Stings and they charge right into the spearmen there. Just keep shooting him. Don't withdraw back, keep shooting. I don't have a good angle to charge them. We've got to get around the back here. How are we going so far? We're winning. We're winning. Small margin, but we're winning. The thing is, they've lost a lot of their best units, and we've just lost our, you know, trash units. Back. They're still just gonna get shot by by him. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Even the peasant infantry held. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Don't charge, don't charge into these guys here. No point. Not until we've killed the enemy general. He doesn't have a strong enough charge. Alright, good. Took a few casualties, but mostly just trash. But that's what they're there for, really, to take the brunt of a charge. Luckily, nobody else decided to attack him. If all goes well, we'll besiege um, Thorn. I'll put a fort across that river there so nobody interrupts us. And then Thorn's mine. Talk about getting gangbanged, Lithuania. Yes, I look forward to fighting you. So, again, looking at this, our overall ranking has increased, and Poland has decreased. So. Things are a bit going a little bit better. Alright, they've just got one unit in there. Whatever an order. Okay, hang on. Uh, you get yes. out of the way. Come down here and keep an eye on this now. Into position. Ooh, okay, that's going to be difficult for this army here to take on. Good thing yes, I took a... Interest in that. Alright, come stand here. Move out. Yes. Yeah, he's of no further use to us, so... We shall not relent, ever! An order! My lord. Yes! Yes! Orders, my king! Orders, my king! 
Whatever it is, I'm sure we can handle it. Oh, good, just a general's bodyguard. No sweat. What's this? Archer militia, Chewed militia, and junior militia. Okay. It's garbage, but whatever. We have to fight with garbage. Money's tight. It'd be better once we've taken Thorn. I don't think this guy here is going to be capable of taking crack out. Assaulting Castle is not going to work, but if we starve them out, I mean, it'll take a long time. It's not like that's not a good settlement. It would be very good to have. Of course, if we take the settlement, that gives the Byzantines less to do, so they might decide to attack us. I'm sure they've got other things to worry about, but it's just something to consider. Whatever the case is, this guy if here needs to die. Fight, you wish. Yes, Lord. Confronting the enemy. The enemy lies defeated. We are Start wrapping things up soon before the game crashes, and uh, I don't want to have to do this again. You know, I don't want to get 99% of the way towards fixing a campaign and be like, oh, technicality, fail. You get around the sword here. I'd like to rely as much as possible on these pechen eggs in this battle. Keep these guys back. Because they do not have the means to counter us. Right, you gotta spread out a little bit. Or else we will get friendly fire. Bench and eggs are pretty damn good. No, 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 watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Don't want to shoot our own men. Watch where you're shooting. Alright, everyone, stop firing, because I reckon this is they're just gonna break now. Enough. This is a clear victory that they never stood a chance. It was just good that we didn't take many casualties. They deserved nothing less than death. We shall not relent ever. I look forward to fighting you. A lot of artillery in that. I think I might actually go for Casa. Eh, I don't know. Well, what about what about uh, Palenga? Palenga is not that well defended. All right, well let's let's go up that way then instead. Yes. Make camp here. I will make them fear you. I don't think I'll recruit this turn. We gotta improve our economy. Alright, moving on. I think once we've captured Thorn, we'll call that a day. I'd say this is unfucked at this point. There's there's no need to continue. Um, like, I could take some more territory, but I'm not here to win the campaign from. It's, it's certainly a winnable situation from here. As long as it just follows in these footsteps and keeps keeps going with it be aggressive take Poland out but don't take too many risks you know don't you know, scout ahead you know, don't send half a stack up against this because you're not gonna win unless it's a really good half a stack you know fought the fought the um, the river crossings off don't let them in buy yourself time if you need to
such a great thing about Medieval 2, giving you the ability to just, just fort off choke points. You can't do this in the newer Total War games. You have to leave an entire army. Or, you know, just a general in fortified stance, I guess. It's, it's just not the same. And the argument I've ever heard against that not being a good thing is people will be like, be like oh, but it's cheese. Yeah, because in history, no one, no, no successful empire ever built walls or fortifications across choke points. That never happened, did it? Your will shall be obeyed. Which is to say, it happened all the fucking time. We march. We march. So, Emperor of China's like, so I'm thinking about building this wall across the mountain ranges there to stop the Mongolians from constantly raiding us, and then their advisor would be like, no, so you shouldn't do that, that's cheesy. We march to our enemy's doom. Yeah, you're right, let's just let them raid. Hadrian's Wall. You know, those picked raiders are a kind of a pain in the ass. You know, here's a pretty narrow point in the British Isles. Why don't we build a wall across here to make it as difficult as possible for them to send raiders down through? Nah, nah, that's cheesy. Nah, let's not do that. Why don't we just leave a standing army always in Britain to, to, to knock back whatever raiders? Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Let's do that instead. Getting... Could have potentially auto resolved this, but I didn't trust it based on my units being shit. Shit in auto resolve. We've got a lot of like archers in this. The only units that would perform reasonably well in the auto resolve would have been the Slav mercenaries. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. have fallen so what's he gonna do is he gonna stay out here I'm pretty sure he'll as soon as they walk in here he'll go back inside the Lord is with us today we have captured mm, the enemy's not. walls ah oh, there he goes there he goes So get these guys up on the wall and shoot him. in place. Walls are no match for the fury of the north. No, 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 no. Don't shoot. Nobody shoot. Oh, 
That's it, just sit there and let us shoot you. Nice. Only half the enemy force remains. Door. You're under attack. The enemy chase is a clear victory that goes to only men of great. Okay, so financially we're making about 2,000 a turn, we've got Thorn, which gives us access to new troops, well, not new troops, but more troops. Um, I'm sure we can strike a deal. So full settlements, we've got a bottle line from Bahia all the way to the Baltic now. And, uh, I mean, whilst I could do more, that's an hour and 37 minutes. I think I could hand this back to him and give him another fighting chance. Like I said, I'm not here to win the campaign for you. Just here to prevent you from losing. Anyway, that's the end of this one. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you for another Saving Disaster campaign. See you next time, fuckers.